Hey, what's going on guys? It's BrainBean here again, back with another video for you. Now recently, AMD reached out to me and they asked me to take a look at their new 2019 edition of their Adrenaline software. So they sent over an RX 590 and some pertinent accessories so that I could really put all the features to the test. Now, before we go any further, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by AMD. But as you know, if you've been following my channel, I take integrity very seriously here on this channel. And I would not have agreed to do the video if I didn't believe in the product and the information that I'm presenting to you. With that, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my top three features of the new Adrenaline software for the 2019 edition. So with that, let's jump right into the video. AMD Link is more than just a companion app. It's designed with a plethora of features that will actually improve your gaming experience and turns your mobile device into an extension of your setup. And you can even use it as its own mobile gaming powerhouse. Setting up the software is as easy as downloading the app and using the provided QR code to sync to your device. The first, and in my opinion, most exciting feature is that you can stream the games on your PC to your mobile device. Essentially, this means that your PC will be running the game like normal, but streaming the video to your device while sending the inputs from the device back to the computer. As you can imagine, this feature is largely dependent on the quality of your Wi-Fi connection. AMD Link allows you to customize your controls with a ton of different options to get the ideal on-screen button layout, or you could just use a Bluetooth MFI controller and play it that way. It doesn't stop there though. AMD Link allows you to stream PC quality graphics to your phone for use in a VR headset. This means that you could essentially get the same quality visuals in a Google Daydream as you could with an Oculus Rift. Considering that almost everyone nowadays has a compatible Android 5.0 and up or iOS 10 and up phone, this means that you could experience VR for a fraction of the price of a traditional setup. And speaking of traditional VR setups, headsets like the Vive and Oculus Rift require you to be tethered to the PC with bulky wires unless you fork over a ton of cash for a wireless kit while the inherent wireless nature of your phone means you can enjoy VR wire-free. Just keep in mind, for gaming, you will need to grab yourself a controller. Relive for VR works with the HTC Vive Focus, Samsung Gear VR, and Google Daydream. One of my favorite things about this VR feature is that it offers people a very low cost of entry to experience VR. And with VR being one of those things that you either love it or you don't, and sometimes it also has sort of a, a period where you need to get your sea legs and really get experienced with it before you can fully enjoy it, this is a nice way to kind of softly introduce people to VR and get into it without dropping a ton of cash and investing money before you even know if you like it. Radeon Relive is a super convenient feature created with streamers and content creators in mind. Using your phone or tablet, you can enable one-touch capture, streaming and instant replay features, and a user-friendly gallery to cut, crop, and preview your media for easy sharing to your social media accounts. I really like the simplicity of this feature as it allows for creators to post interesting content in a hassle-free way, giving them more time to focus on creating or staying in-game. You can also use AMD Link to keep a close eye on your PC's performance through intuitive, easy to read graphs and charts. And if you're anything like me, you like to keep a window up just to monitor things like temperature and GPU and CPU usage. With this, you can free up a little bit of extra space on your monitor and still keep a close eye on your performance. With AMD Link, you'll also be able to stay up to date with all the latest AMD news and updates with real-time notifications each time a driver is released. And lastly, the settings in Game Advisor helps you to keep your games optimally configured by allowing you to make changes to your graphics settings, monitor your frame rate, and even recommends new hardware should you have components that are not quite up to snuff for the games you want to play. The Wattman tool allows you to use automatic or manual overclocking, so even if you're not super comfortable with messing with your own settings, you can let the software do all the work and still get performance like the pros do. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know down in those comments below what you think about being able to stream wireless PC quality VR to your phone. That's by far my favorite feature. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. If you're new here on the channel, I'd love to see you subscribe and stick around because we've got a lot more PC gaming tech videos coming for you in the near future. And you can also follow me on Twitter at BrainBean Gaming to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as participate in some exclusive Twitter giveaways that I do over there sometimes. But with that, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you to AMD for sponsoring this video. With that, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.